Hi everyone. Today we are going to be writing our numbers 0 to 20. That's right. We are going to start from 0 and we're going to end in 20. So we're going to be reviewing uh, number formation and we're going to be also talking about um, how we remember the order of numbers. So if you want to get out a piece of paper and a pencil, please do so now or you can use your finger and trace in the air or you can just watch and listen, whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the number zero. A lot of the time when we're write, writing our numbers, people forget about the number zero. I know we always naturally start at one because zero represents nothing, but I think it's important to learn what zero looks like. Zero is an oval. So I'm gonna start at my top, at the top of the page, and I'm gonna go down and up. That is a zero. Next, after zero is one. When we write, remember, we start at the top and we go down. So I'm gonna start at the top and head on down. One. Next is two. Two is a candy cane and a line across. So we're gonna start, we can go curve candy cane and a line across. After two, we have three. Three is gonna be two big bellies. That's what I like to call it. So similar to the two, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna to curve and do a big belly into the middle and a big belly down below. Three. After three, we have four. So there are many different ways to write four, but we're gonna do a simple one that I, I like to start with. And we're gonna start at the top and go down across like an uppercase L. Then we're gonna lift our pencil, start at the top again, and make our way, line all the way down. Four. When we move on to five, we're gonna start on the right side and we're gonna do a line that goes backwards, across, down, and a big belly. Five. After five, we have six. Six, same, and same as if we were writing our five, we're gonna start on the right-hand side, and we're gonna do a curve as if we were gonna make a C, except we're gonna continue on and loop it into the middle. Six. After our six is seven. Seven is going to be a line across and a diagonal line as if it was a slide, diagonal. Woo, going down the slide. After our seven is our eight. Now, there's two different ways you can make an eight. You can do a simple circle on top and a circle on bottom as if you're kind of like making a snowman, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is the S method. I'm gonna start at the top and curve down as if I'm making an S, but I'm not gonna stop down here. I'm gonna make my way back up. I'm not even lifting my pen off the page. There's my eight. Now we're gonna do our last one digit number. So it's gonna be our nine. So our nine is gonna start at the top. We're gonna to make a circle, and we're gonna stop at the top, of our circle and draw a line down. I'm not lifting my pencil off the page. Nine. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are called our one digit numbers. That means when you write them, you only have to write one number. Now we're gonna move on to our T numbers. T numbers are gonna consist of two digits, but numbers in the teens, they start with a one. Even 11 and 12, even though you don't have a teen at the end, like 13, 14, 15, 11 and 12 are considered teen numbers. So we are gonna begin by writing 11. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna begin by writing 10, and then we're gonna move on to 11. So 10 is a one and a zero. And now we're going to move on to 11. 11 is a 1 and a 1. When you are writing the T numbers or numbers that have two digits, you need to make sure that the numbers are relatively close to each other. They don't need to be so close like this, where it kind of looks like you're making one big line. You do need to leave a little bit of space, but they do need to be close enough so if you're going to look at it, you know, oh, that's 11. Next is 12. We are going to do, 
Let me get my pen. Okay, a 12 is a one and a two. After 12 is 13. So this is when you start hearing the teen, 13. One and a three. You'll notice a bit of a pattern. When we begin to write our one digit numbers, it goes in order, zero, one, two, three. So here you see zero, one, two, three, and always it starts with a one. So I'm gonna erase these. So if you can guess what's next, I have my 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is gonna be next. See, four comes after three. So it's a one and a four. 14. After 14 is 15. One and a five. After 15, we have our, so we have 16. One and a six. Then we head on to 17. One and a seven. Remember the diagonal lines. After 17 is 18 a one and an eight, and I'm gonna do a curved eight, like an S, but you can do it the other way. After 18 is 19, a one and a nine. And then we're moving on to a whole new set, which are the 20s. We're not gonna, we're just gonna write the number 20, and maybe in the next time we, we do our writing, we'll go to 20 to, to 30. So 20 is gonna be a two, and then you start over again. So you go all the way back to zero, two and a zero. Okay, so we just wrote our numbers from zero to 20. So let's count together. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You just wrote your numbers 0 to 20. Good job, everyone. Okay, so I want you guys to practice that. Um, you can continue on if you want. You can go past 20. Um, and, but I, I think this is really important to learn your numbers for 0 to 20, especially if you want to write your, if you want to learn how to do your phone, your phone number or your address, um, it's important to know your numbers. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.